What is up guys? In today's video, we're going to be going over how we can create a QR code scanner in iOS using Swift and Xcode. And as you can see right here from this preview, we're going to be able to click on a button and it's going to scan a code and it's going to return the content inside that code. And while I'm not going to show you how we can set it up on a physical device, I will show you how we can do it on an emulator. But of course, this will work on a real device as I have showed you. But the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and hold down Shift Command plus N so that we can create a new project. Then we will click on App and click on Next. And we need to specify a product name. We're going to call this Code Scanning test. And if you want to actually deploy this to a physical app on a real phone, you're going to have to specify a team and create a developer account. Otherwise, you can just skip that and just make sure you have Swift UI and Swift selected as those options. Then we can go ahead and click on next. Make sure to specify a location for your project and click on create. Now, the first thing we will do inside here is close the sidebar and change it to an iPhone 13 and render the preview so we can see that everything's working immediately. Then we will make this much smaller and we will zoom it down to about there. Next, we have to go to our code scanning test and we can just click on it right here. And it's going to open up this window over here because we need to go all the way to the info section so we can add a few custom rules such as what should happen when the user decides to use the camera. We need to say that it's okay for the user to use the camera and we also need to specify a reason why we need the user to use the camera. So here, we're just going to go ahead and click on a plus and we have to type in privacy and select camera usage description so we can define a description for the user and we will say we need the camera to scan QR codes. Now, this will also be another tip if you are deploying this to a physical device. We want to go here, type in appearance and we also want to select that the appearance should stay on light mode, but you don't really have to do that if you're just deploying it to an emulator. The next thing we have to do is go ahead and click on file and add packages. And inside here, we need to look for this code scanner package, which is brought to us by two straws slash code scanner. But of course, in the description down below, you can find this link and it's going to take you exactly to this precise location where we can download this package. So go ahead and paste that link inside this search bar and click on this package and click on add package. It's going to fetch it, it's going to verify it, and it's going to tell us to confirm that we want to add it. And as soon as that is done, we will have this package and dependency right here, code scanner 1.0.7. Next, we can actually go to our content view and close the sidebar because we will not be using it for the rest of the video. Oh, that's good to know. Wow, you can go back. That's cool, but I can't go forward. Interesting. So the first thing we have to do is create two states and the first state is going to be a variable called is presenting scanner. And that's going to be set to false initially. Then below that, we will go ahead and create another state called scanned code. And of course, this will return to us the string of the code we scanned. So of type string is going to equal a placeholder text, which will say scan a QR code to get started. Why don't you like that code? Why have you forsaken me? Ah, and of course write var not car or else the program will not be happy. Next, we need to create a scanner sheet. And this is because we want a different view to pop up inside our view that can actually take the picture without having to actually create an element in the body. So this makes it a lot easier for us to scan codes. And to do this, we'll go ahead and create a variable called scanner sheet. And that's going to, of course, extend some view. And inside here, we need to use a code scanner view. And as I mentioned earlier, the first thing I wanted to specify is all the code types we can actually scan. So to do this, we type in code types and completion. And it's going to give us a lot of this placeholder but don't really worry about that yet. We can just make a space here and it looks a lot easier to understand. But the first one actually has to be an array. And inside this array, we specify the code types we want to scan, such as .qr, and that's for QR codes. But of course, if you have other industry standard codes you want to scan, just add the dot and you're going to notice all of these different kinds of codes that we can actually scan. 
I'm just going to use the QR code for this example because that's all I scan in general. Then we need to specify what happens when we actually scan a code. So here we have a result with a void that has been returned and we just need to remove that and provide our own custom code. And this is going to be a result in and if this case is let dot success with the code inside and that's going to equal the result. So if the result has a success and a code, we're going to use that and we're going to refer to self dot scanned code and we're going to assign this variable the value of code. And we're also going to go ahead and type in self dot is presenting scanner and set that to false because once we actually scan a code, we want this to go away. So by providing false, it's going to close the scanner. And I don't know why this went to code scanner, but it should just be code and nothing else, just like that. So this will take care of the scanner sheet. Now we need to go ahead and create the button that actually shows it. So inside the body, we're going to start off by creating a V stack so that we can vertically place views inside there. And the spacing is going to be set to 10. So we have some space between the elements. Next, we can go ahead and create a text box, which is just going to display the scanned code value, which is going to be nothing initially. So it's going to provide us with the default string of scan a QR code to get started. Next, we need a button that can actually display the sheet that we want to scan the, the QR code with. So here we will type in scan QR code and we will add a box and inside here we need to refer to self dot is presenting scanner and we will set that to true so that it will actually display the camera and we also need to create a binding variable for the sheet so dot sheet is presented and that's a binding variable which is going to be is presenting scanner so it's going to pay attention to the changes of that variable and if those changes take place, we're going to go ahead and call self.scannersheet and show it inside our box. And that's actually all we need to create this QR scanner. Now, if we actually go ahead and run the program, you're going to notice in our emulator that we're going to get this text and this button, and it's not going to ask us to accept the privacy conditions for using the camera because we are on an emulator, but that's covered if you use a physical device. If we actually click on scan a QR code inside the emulator, it's going to tell us that it doesn't really have a camera, so why would you bother? But we can select a custom image. So we will just tap on this part right here, and I'm going to select this sample image that I installed earlier, and it has a QR code, and it gives us back this link. But of course, if you want to see this actually being used with your camera, you're going to have to use a physical iOS device and that takes a bit more setting up, so I won't explain it in this video, but if you're curious about how we can do that, I will create a video in the near future about how we can set up our physical device for iOS development. But with that being said, guys, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson.